How you guys? How's it going? So I decided uh, to come out today uh, for a bit of a more leisurely overnight bushcraft type of trip uh, and revisiting something which uh, if you was here last year you might be a bit familiar with. Uh, this is, uh, it's been just at a year now, this is the bushcraft, uh, you know, wall tent, canvas, shelter, uh, whatever you want to call it, where we converted that bed that was actually built, I think, about the year before. So this structure has been up, I think, for almost two years, if I'm not mistaken, at least a year and a half. Uh, but this canvas tent setup has been here for a year now, and I just left it in the mountains. The elements not, uh, you know, not come and done anything to it, and I, I'm really surprised, uh, based off all the, the weather that it's been through, how well it's uh, hold up. Got anything? Allergies. But yeah, got a new backpack. Uh, this is the Tasmanian Tiger. I'll put the name on the screen. And once again, uh, you know, if you're new, uh, I always try to link to the gear and stuff. Trying out a new holster. I've had this bag for about a week and a half and not got to use it uh, because of the waist belt. And that's why, if you're curious about why I'm wearing a drop leg holster, uh, this is a custom Falco holster. Um, and it has already made a huge difference uh, when carrying a backpack because before that um, the holster that I was carrying uh, The hip belts would tend to rub and with a pack like this and the uh, external frame Tasmanian Tiger the hip belt is uh, so thick and padded that it just rubs and very uncomfortable wanted to get out this thing looks like it's loaded for you know a five to seven day out and but it's really not the bottom it's got a sleeping bag in it this thing's cinched down pretty good i've got a lester river bushcraft jacket slash shirt i don't know what the correct it's like an anorak uh and that takes up pretty much like from here uh down because i just got it in there loosely i've got a tarp and everything if I, just in case this right here wasn't uh in a situation to where i could <clears throat> sleep underneath it um, but yeah, I got a new sleeping bag that I want to try out. It's still probably going to be a little bit too warm for it. It's a, uh, it's a Vertex Montana sleeping bag. It's supposed to be waterproof, all that good old stuff. Got the bivy with me too, just in case. No chance of rain, uh, if anything, just a light breeze. Um, but I don't know, I just want to really come back out to this spot because my curiosity was killing me about this thing. Uh, plus, I know I already had this little fire pit area here because I've got, uh, right now it's just a little bit after lunch and I've not eaten lunch yet. Um, I've got some leftover deer roast and a new pot that I'm going to try out is the pot the uh, I forget it's like the, the the name of the company the Uberlin like I've got a couple of their ferro rods about uh, one of their ferro rods is actually what I used to start the fire but this was uh, one of their I think it's pronounced Kessel type pots I've got some deer stew now to have for lunch or deer roast to have for lunch and then I've got some nice hearty soup that we'll have uh, tonight. I don't really know what the term Kessel means or what nationality or language that uh, belongs to, but this right here just screws on the back. Normally, you do it like this so that the handle's overhanging so it's more like a kettle, uh, but since I'm gonna be warming up a roast, I need to be able to access the lid a bit easier so I can stir it and make sure it doesn't burn. This is stainless steel, so it's not really going to be like titanium where you have to be a lot more diligent about keeping it stirred but it's not designed for the handle to go in this fashion so like if you do use it that way this little side piece that's normally folded over that to keep the handle from moving side to side isn't uh, isn't able to do so so you'll make sure you get that down nice and tight oh yeah and too uh, in the opening when I was focused on wanting to go and get the fire going uh, if you've seen some shorts and everything, you might have seen, I was just trying out this uh, DPS knife. I know, like, if, you know, you're big into bushcraft and you see this right here, this is a false edge on the top. DPS knives make a lot of, like, you know, very well-known, affordable bushcraft knives. And this is not ideal for batoning at all. Uh, but I just wanted to give her a go. And I was cutting up a piece of black oak that uh, fell. And that thing was super dense and uh, it didn't damage the blade at all still super sharp so the overall quality of this knife is great in the current limited experience i've had with it i mean i've been using it a good deal just out of curiosity you know like part of the fun is getting gear out and trying new things when you go with the tried and true stuff all the time it's gonna start to get a little bit dull all right 
Here we got our spice wallet. There's already been some seasonings, uh, you know, that was cooked with the roast. It was about two days old. I just had a, a bit left, but I got some more Old Bay black pepper. And I was happy that this transportation method didn't leak my new bag. But right there, it's some very tender deer roast with potatoes and carrots. Right here, got a bit of old bay. Bit of black pepper. Well, that right there is absolutely delicious, as I already knew it would be. But I do gotta say, I'm not a fan of the sun's current position in the sky. Mm. But y'all still just have a bit of <clears throat> deer meat left over from last hunting season, and you know. Deer season starts back in about two weeks. Trying to finish up the last little bit that's left. That way, you can, uh, you know, make room for the new. The bottom of this backpack has a compartment that's meant for your sleep system in the event that it fits. If not, you could use it to store clothing and stuff. But this is what is going to be my primary sleeping bag for this winter. I'm trying to see. But yeah, right there you go. Like I said, it's made by a company called Vertex. This is the Montana bag. That is the name of this model. I believe, I believe they just make three. There's like an Arizona, which is the lightest weight. There's a Montana, which is the mid-range. Then they got the Alaska. Now, this is like a military-style sleeping bag, just a more updated modern version. It's got a waterproof, breathable outer layer. And then this one, it has the same military rating when it comes to temperature that it takes into account that you're already going to have the clothing for it so with the appropriate clothing you're supposed to be able to take this bag down to negative 20 degrees fahrenheit that's that's hit or miss that there there's a lot of variables that go into that but i just put my mat down cleared out the flooring underneath mm -hmm. there 
And really, once the temperatures get down at night, I do. I believe it said it's supposed to get down to about 42, which is, for a fact, nothing for a bag like this. But for its first official test, I just wanted to make it easy, and that's why I brought the bivy just in case. The only thing about it that's going to make it a little bit difficult with the bivy bag has a center zip and the bivy has a side zip. So not that big of a deal, but so you get really durable material. It says the outer shell 100% polyamide inner lining 100% polyamide and GLT hollow fiber 100% polyester insulation. I don't know just after seeing these bags, uh, there's not a lot uh, on the internet's about them because I think they're relatively new to the market space. Like I said, military style. The thing I love, it's got the tearaway zippers, so you ain't got to worry about these things snagging. That was just the Velcro if you couldn't see uh, that sound. It's got a really nice baffle tube see like, i mean you can this thing does loft up very nicely and very quickly and it's a lot tougher than like you know my down sleeping bags that's really the only downside to most of your down bags is like their outer their outer materials and stuff that they're made of are not the most durable things make a phenomenal hunting sleeping bag especially in combination with a bivy and a nice tarp setup. And I like this sleeping bag is a bit longer than like my bivy like it's a bit of a, a extended length sleeping bag and that's so you can put clothing and things at the foot of it uh, or just like around your body and you know help keep them warm throughout the night that way whenever you wake up your clothing ain't froze to stiff.
Well, guys, that soup and cracker meal was very nice. Hit the spot right before the sun went down and the uh, temperature started to cool off. I just took and threw on this uh, Lester River bushcraft wool. Uh, I think I can't remember if it's if he calls it a, the, a boreal anorak, but it's essentially you know 100% wool anorak, and it is it's too hot uh, for the uh, the current temperature. Which if I had to guess right now is probably 50. D degrees uh it's just you know sitting here that really thin flannel that wasn't quite enough because we're sitting a distance from the fire but this thing right here you know with this thin flannel in this own stationary i'd say definitely good down to 35 38 degrees uh like right now there's no way i could wear it if i was up moving around uh for really any task since there's no breeze or nothing blowing but it's uh you know really nice and cozy to chill in it's almost like a mountain man snuggy you know uh, and with that sleeping bag we will for sure just uh be going down to the t-shirt and uh seeing how that goes i just i hope it cools off some more before we decide to crawl into the sack so i'm gonna take and let the uh, the rest of that fire burn out let the coals die down I can set my backpack right here at the head uh, area, you know, facing me. That way I can access the pockets and everything. Like these side pouches are actually really nice because I get able to organize things inside of those with all the smaller components and stuff that I use. And then I got my Zubilee's pillow tucked, like stuffed in the bottom of the pack itself. And then we'll, uh, you know, stuff all this stuff back down in there. Filming in here is a fairly difficult task. It's time to get the hay. I gotta say too, man, it's actually surprising just the temperature difference. I mean, you know, both ends of this canvas thing is completely open, but with no breeze. I mean, it's still cool under here, but you can tell a difference as soon as you crawl in versus the outside temperature and that sleeping bag lofted up a lot I took and unzipped the middle of it and then I'll stuff my flannel along the side Definitely not getting cold in this bag. <laughs> well, guys, we are uh, all tucked in and situated. So I will talk to y'all in the morning. Good morning guys, how's it going? So, this sleeping bag, I can tell you, it's like, it's cozy, but my God, it's it's almost too hot. Like, I took last night and woke up twice sweating, and I just finally had to take and unzip this and uh, the bivy bag, and like, it's really nice on the feet, having all that extra little bit of stuff, but like the there was no breeze uh like during the majority of the night luckily this morning 
there is i mean it's cool but like this canvas tarp protects you and holds your heat a lot more than you think it would with it being so tattered and well worn tarp at this point check out man this guy's gonna pee and then see i got a bit of a chill then i'll just crawl back just crawl back in this yeah i mean i won't put my put my flannel back on and everything but uh, it was just nice to revisit this shelter it's nice getting this uh it was nice to get the gear out and you know everything everything worked good it was just a nice good initial test but i'm gonna need it to get a lot colder i don't think it got down to 42 i think it only got down to probably 46 which is you know not what this uh bag especially inside of bivy was designed for but yeah anyways guys that's gonna do it for this one so as always i appreciate you taking the time to watch the video uh make sure you that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already share the channel with your friends family anybody that enjoys good old outdoor activities and gear uh, hit me up in that comment section and until the next one guys adios